everybody and welcome back to my channel today. Today we're going to be doing an everyday makeup look just um, that I do every day before work or just even on the weekends and first thing I like to do is start off by moisturizing my face. I like to make sure I cover everything and just make sure it's all super moisturized um, especially with it being winter I usually like to do two pumps of this lotion on my face. It's a thicker lotion so I just make, like to make sure that everything is good and covered and that way I don't have any dry patches throughout the day. And the next thing I like to do is use this Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. Um, I'm in one of the lighter shades. I believe I'm in just the classic ivory shade. Um, I have had this foundation for a little while and I kind of forgot about it and I've been using it the last probably three or four days and it does, I already have oily skin and it's been making me oilier than usual so I probably am just going to throw it away soon um, just because I remember why I don't like it and sadly I can't use it anymore but I do just put it on my beauty blender and I like to just put it all over my face and make sure I have good coverage um, and make sure that everything is nice and covered. So once I'm all done putting on my foundation, I like to go ahead with my concealer. And right now I'm using the NYX HD Studio Ready um, Concealer. And I just put it in a triangle shape underneath my eyes. Um, it kind of makes you look like a, I don't even know, like some kind of Indian warrior or something. But you do what you got to do to look pretty, right? <laughs> so I go ahead and I just put all of that underneath my eyes to go ahead and lighten everything up. I put it under my eyes, um, a line down my nose, and then I put it in the triangle part of my forehead. And I just go ahead and I put that all on there and make sure it's all on there before I go ahead and I start blending. So the next thing I like to do is just blend it all out. Um, I honestly can't say that enough because you don't want to have any harsh lines or anything like that whenever you are putting products on your face. You'll just look kind of silly if you do. So you just blend it all out underneath your eyes on any of the imperfections you put your concealer on. And I have it on my forehead as well and my nose. So you just want to make sure everything looks really bright and just make sure that you have it all put underneath and put on the way that you would like it. So the next thing I like to use is just an eyeshadow primer. This one's by Lorac or Lorac. Um, I got it as a sample whenever I bought a palette, an eyeshadow palette, so I just put it on my eyelids and I make sure that I blend it in really well. And of course you can't forget your eyeshadow, so I'll be using the Naked 2 palette. Um, I'm going to be trying to show you the best I can the colors that I'm using, so I'm going to start with this first base color. It's just a pretty, it's like a cream color is what it reminds me of, but I just put it all over my eyelids just to go ahead and get everything prepped um, to make sure that you have a good base color before you put on the darker colors. So the next color I like to use is this purple grayish color. Um, it's super pretty and it looks really good in the crease of your eye. So I usually put that in the crease of my eye. It's kind of just what I do every day, honestly. Um, it looks really good and it goes really well with everything. So I put that in there. I make it look a little bit darker just to give it some depth. And I blend it all out. And once I'm done with that, I like to take a flat eyeshadow brush and use the gold glitter shade that's um, it's the second one over in the Naked 2 palette and I just put that right on the the main portion of my eyelid to, just to give it a little bit of sparkle and again I do do this every day because I don't think it's anything it's something extreme but it does give it nice color and a nice little just something extra for your makeup And of course, you can't forget the mascara. So I've been using this mascara for quite a little while now. I kind of go off and on with it, but overall, I do really like this. You just want to make sure that you apply it to all of your eyelashes and make sure that they're nice and um, spread out and that it gives it the volume that you wish to have. So I just am applying that. Again, I'm so sorry for the faces that I'm making. I know that they are just kind of crazy. <laughs> And the next thing I like to do is just put my blush on, which I've been using the Wet n Wild Ombre Blush, which I absolutely love. It gives your cheeks the perfect, like, rosiness to them. I just, I really like it. And it's because it's ombre, I feel like it's just, like, mixes the two colors perfectly. And I love it. So I put that all over my cheeks just to give it some nice color. And once you're done with that, you are good to go. Okay guys, this is my final look today. Um, I did use a curling wand to curl my hair. I have Burt's Bees um, red lipstick on and yeah, we
we are headed to church. So I will see you guys in my next video and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.